But let's transition to Minnesota. They returned quite a bit, bringing back 37 of the 44 players from last year's 2D. Remember, more than half their roster, freshmen or redshirt freshmen. Last year, you've got Zach Anikstead, Tanner Morgan back battling for that quarterback spot, and Rodney Smith, Antoine Winfield getting healthy. So lots to feel good about. They moved indoors due to the weather. There are Morgan and Anikstead pick it up in the first quarter. Anikstead to Bryce with them. 31 yards, Annex did 9 of 15, 151 yards and a touchdown. Now Annex did, this time has picked off by Jordan Howden. And the interception's kind of going around. Tanner Morgan coming in and he gets picked off here by Thomas Rush who takes it back for the score, Jay. Nice little pick six for the defense. One thing I think we can say for sure, Dave, this is not the youngest team in America yet, or still. Yes. We have grown up a year, so that we can put to bed that one. <laughs> uh, Morgan looking for some redemption here, and he finds it. Revan Span Ford, 19-yard touchdown. Morgan was 11 of 17 for 139 yards. And then how about Daniel Falele? All 400 pounds of him. My goodness. It's like the fifth grade Pop Warner where there's one huge man <laughs> and everyone else is trying to tackle him. Unsuccessfully, we may add. This is a team that really finished strong last year, Jay. I mean, they won three of their last four, and that included you know, convincing wins over Purdue and Wisconsin. They won their bowl game. I know you feel like they can carry some of this momentum forward, particularly on the offensive side. Well, I think they've got the receiving core to do it. Whether it's Zach Ennix there or Tanner Morgan at the quarterback position, you look at what they got. Tyler Johnson. They've got Chris Altman-Bell. They've got Rashad Bateman. These guys fit this RPO system really well. We see that slant play over and over, and then you'll see the slant and go play right here where he goes up over the top with the back shoulder fade. So they've got weapons all over the place on this football team, whether it's Demetrius Douglas, uh, we talked about uh, Rashad Bateman, obviously the highly touted recruit a couple years ago out of Georgia. They've got firepower on the offensive side of the football to make big plays. And a thousand yard back, Muhammad Ibrahim. So uh, there's, there's a lot there, no doubt. The issue, of course, last year, certainly early on, was the defense. But man, when Joe Rossi stepped in, that group got a lot better. Yeah, when they made the decision, it was a tough decision. PJ Flex said, Rob Smith, we're going to let you go as D corner. And Joe Rossi came in. They played much better. And I think they're going to be better this year. They're going to try to carry that momentum. If they do carry that on, they're right there with teams in the West. Again, we talk about the balance of the West. I mean, they really took it to Wisconsin and Purdue, like you said last year. Those are teams that people think could vie for a championship or a division title. And Minnesota beat them soundly. Yeah, that one against Wisconsin particularly right. sweet, I know, right. for Gophers fans, given the recent history there. I mean, look, I think it's fair to point out this was a nine-win program when P.J. Fleck took it over. Right. He said at the very outset, we may take a step back before we take a step forward. This is the year now for them to really Absolutely. start building on what's been some very positive recruiting momentum. And as you talked about, the youth excuse goes away a little bit, but there's a lot to look forward to there in Minneapolis.